Hello everybody and welcome back to For Real. This is day two of our short little adventure in Cap. We've just moved to a different accommodation. We thought we might as well um, take the opportunity to try out two places. And this is at Milan Resort. It's actually just around the corner from the other one. Uh, there's a whole cluster of these kinds of places. They're all kind of little bungalows, sort of freestanding places. This one's got a pool and a nice kind of bar area, same as the other one. And I'll show you that a bit later on. All right. Straight ahead, you can see down towards the ocean. And our bungalow is just along this little path here. A little space to park the bike. And... here. It's a very large veranda. <laughs> Jerry's demonstrating. <laughs> There's a hammock there. Are you going to be having a go in the hammock a bit later? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm right about looking at it. Yes, yes. Yeah. Anyway, there's um, nice gardens between each of the bungalows, so they're very private, which is nice. And I suppose we should go in. Nice furniture there to sit. We'll probably be partaking of a beer from those seats a bit later on today. Oh, there's even an outdoor fan. Look at oh, that. that. Outdoor fan. My biggest fan. Get it on, quick. Ooh, and again. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> wow. There's fly screen on the windows, too. Oh. Nice touch. Oh. You don't see that a lot. Except there's water All right. bottles, not water. Big bills. Yes. Let's go in. All right, so we have a tiled floor that is made to look like wood, but that's okay. Nice and cool underfoot. Shut the door behind me. Now, it's really just one big open space, like a usual kind of hotel room. And there's a wood panelling, and it's got, again, that kind of thatchy sort of ceiling. I'm not sure what the roof is like above this, but the last one had that kind of ceiling too. There's Jeremy out there. <laughs> so you can leave your windows open if you wanted with those lovely screens. We've got two, um, they're much bigger than single beds. Anyway, two beds together today. And another fan and an air conditioner in this room. Um, a little tiny fridge. And a rail with some coat hangers. You can see there's the fan. And over there is the aircon. And below that is like a little bench with all your stuff on it, little bottles of water. Unfortunately, they don't do the, um, you know, glass bottle refilling as you need kind of thing here. But we don't see that very often, to be honest. All right. And the last thing to see is, of course, the bathroom. Now, this is a bit of an acreage in here too. So we have... Oh, toilet, bum gun, there we go, toilet paper, lots of toilet paper supplies, hot water in there, again they've got huh, a little window with a fly screen on it, um, they've got some shampoo and body gel there, very big shower recess, good to see the, um, the hob there so that the water can't get out and wet the rest of the floor. And a rather large kind of bench area. So we've got your hairdryer here, and the jug, some glasses, tea and coffee. <laughs> yeah, all in all, it kind of, it's probably not as nicely finished as the other place, but I don't know, it kind of has a feel that's it, just the layout slightly better, I think. Anyway, the beds look super comfortable. The benefit of having two separate beds is that we don't have to ask for an extra blanket because I never share the blanket with Jeremy. It's just impossible. <laughs> okay, I think that about wraps it up for the room tour. I'll go and show you the pool and everything else a little bit later on. It's the middle of the day now, so later. Okay, so this is the common area at, at Milan Resort. Like a little bar area, seating spot. This is where you have breakfast too. And beautiful pool. Lovely view. It's a little bit higher up the hill than the last place that we stayed, so the view is a little bit better. Yeah, beautiful gardens. Go and have a look at those.
These gardens are just spectacular. Okay, we're here at the crab market. Let's go down into the beast. Beautiful day, bit, bit of wind, not too bad. Don't know what that thing is over there. Let's do it. Go around, a little scenic loop. Yeah, it does. Huh, I think it's just the same. I'm gonna go this way. A little bit of wind. We are at the beach. Reminds me of a uh, bit of Keppel Sands in Rockhampton. Near Rockhampton there, Yapoon, Keppel Sands. Not really a sunshine coasty kind of water. More of that brown water of Yapoon or Keppel Sands. But quite a nice day today. A bit windy. Even this building can remind me of a um, old surf club I have uh, in Queensland. That kind of uh, style. Very, just don't see the style really at all through um, Cambodia. It's a beachy thing. Okay, these little ladies doing their stuff down here, cooking up the crabs. Got the crabs boiling away. Hello. So stay. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm caught now. Got to get out. Hello, frog. Hello. Frog, big, big. Yeah. Okay, this is a market. You know what's happening? All the ladies around having a chat. I'll be um, married shortly. I'll laugh at. Oh, thank you. I don't want any. All the things everywhere. Look at that sun's hot. Look at over here. Some squiddies. Nice prawns. More squiddies. More prawns. Prawns look lovely. More squiddies. Oh, nice prawns. Oh! Out there is where they keep the crabs and those little things out there. Keep them fresh. We've got some clams over here. Nice. Ooh, some paste. A little firewood for you to cook your crabs up. Eskies, crab. There's some crab. There's a little muddies. Wow. Yeah. Crab, huh? No, it's okay. It's looking. <laughs> so one crab peel, peel I was five dollars. I'm told. Look how big these ones are. They're huge. Big. Oh, some cooked up squiddies. Pushies. More squid. Ow. Beam. Everything's low. These prawns are amazing. They look beautiful. Oh. There's a big stingray. Lots and lots of fish. There's a squid corner. This is where you come for your fresh seafood. I've had many a time being sick on squid, so I don't really eat it anymore. All stuff that goes with the squiddy. 
limes and your eggs and your... It's so smoky. So they're doing all the cooking. All the walks and stuff. This ground is very slippery. Got a little store. So if you want your fresh seafood, especially especially prawns, they look, prawns look amazing. So fresh. These are all the fermented prawns and stuff. And oils. Some paste. Shrimp paste maybe. Some camp hot pepper. More of the same. Not later. Veggies, have your prawns and your crabs. Oh, it's actually quite a big operation here. The roof is very low. It's it's not good for my head. Or some kiwis, kiwis. As Todd would say, from here on now, kiwis. Oh, these are all dried squids. So, yeah. Dried prawns. Different varieties. I don't know how to do good prawn, dried prawn. Oh, this one's here, looks pretty funky. They're ancient ones. This part is closed down, it's like a touristy kind of one. Yeah. Ow. So this is a Monday. Um, Saturday and Sunday is mental here, so that's why we came on the Monday. Because less people. Easy to walk around, look at a few things. Some artifacts. Hope you enjoyed that little walk around the crab market. It's a very interesting place to visit. As always, down below are all the people that we do follow. Uh, also remember to like, subscribe. Um, remember all the money we do make goes straight to NGOs um, helping out people in Cambodia. As always, stay safe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.